I think we talked about this a little in our previous two conversations of that transition period where you've got the dominant humans using AI to continue their flawed narrative in your mind until then when the AIs actually take over. Correct. And that's when they actually probably start doing the right things. And that period, however long it is, is the dangerous time. It's very disruptive. And you know, in, in, in many ways, uh, you look back at history and you say, we're resilient, humanity is a survivor. I mean, we survived World War II. Ask the people that lived during World War II. Uh, you know, don't ask the people that came after about how disruptive, how painful that experience was. Uh, you know, people will say, unfortunately, if, if you ask me what the real, real challenge is, is that um, humanity has turned into a bunch of cheerleaders. Uh, we're constantly being lied to, and, uh, and you know, the lies are basically serving uh, a consistent system, and the system is a system of transfer of, of wealth and power. And, and that How do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. This has been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I've ever made. The upside I view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of Investment Club. See you in the Investment Club. That consistent system in, very, in many ways is feeding on the uh, vulnerable, if you want. And, and, uh, and I think the reality is that we get distracted more and more and more by the, you know, the noise of the propaganda machines of the mainstream media and, uh, so, uh, and you know, the machines of social media magnified by the ability of AI, like everything is going to be magnified by the ability of AI, uh, to the point where we are ignoring the stuff that actually matters. And again, I, I, I say very openly, if you're not concerned, you're not paying attention. Uh, it's, you know, we're in the middle of a perfect storm of geopolitical, economic, uh, even, uh, um, you know, um, climate, as well as a technological disruption, where the outcome of this is like we've always described it. It's a singularity that, uh, that could disrupt everything, but interestingly could fix everything. And, and the difference between them is a decision, okay? A decision that the recent few weeks seem to contradict, in, you know, in terms of Simply, if you just look at the last few weeks in terms of Trump tariffs and the response from China, uh, the illusion that we can now uh, have one nation force the others to act. Well, where did you get that from? I, I, I joke about it, it's, even though it's not funny. It's, it's, you, you remember when we were in school and you know, when you're 11, there's that one little child that becomes taller than the rest of them and then is the bully that pushes everyone around and a few other kids surround themselves, you know, that surround that little bully and they do this little gang. And, and then two years later, everyone's taller than them. You know, I'm really sorry, America. The boy in the red t-shirt is taller. This and is China. Yes. And, and we, so many around the world are fed up with the little bully. And, and I think the reality of the matter is that you look at just the tariffs decision is, is that the bully still thinks he's the bully and like we're all like chill man, like seriously, chill. Like we can all live, it's a big earth, everyone's fine. And, and somehow you're either a cheerleader being lied to, thinking that you should believe in this, by the way, even if you're an American, hmm? uh, or uh, you know, you're, you're suddenly waking up and, and taking action and I think the action will unfortunately mean that the bully will try to, to fight harder. And, and that Cold War that we have 
on every front, including artificial intelligence, is not good for everyone. It's basically the tax that everyone will pay until the bully finally sits down and says, man, can, can we play? Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investment club. Pull the trigger. Let's do this.